Welcome everyone to this supplement to the CCIE Routing and Switching Lab Fundamentals and Written Bootcamp class here at IP Expert. My name is Anthony Sequera and we are going to run through a quick solution, a best practice solution configuration that I would utilize for the challenge that we gave everyone in the last supplement video. Remember we wanted to go in and create R2 as the hub device for a frame relay R4 and an R5 device. We wanted to use the physical interfaces everywhere on these devices. We did not want to use inverse ARP. So let's see how this configuration could be deployed in the most efficient, effective, most accurate way possible. I like to go ahead and start on my hub device. Here on the hub device, I'm going to go ahead and do a show frame map and ensure I don't have any mappings. We know those are not permitted in the scenario. I'm then going to go into the serial zero slash zero interface and shut it down and set my encapsulation to frame relay and then turn off the frame relay inverse arc. As you know, in my configuration cadence, as I call it, I then like to configure the IP address and then my frame maps. You're going to get very fast at configurations like this, trust me, when you're ready to pass the exam. The thing you got to watch out for is, are you injecting typos into your configurations? That could certainly happen because you're moving so fast. By the way, you can see that I'm using the broadcast statement on these PVCs. I have looked ahead in our scenario, hypothetically, and I have discovered that the broadcast keyword is appropriate for those circuits. I'm about to leave this machine for another machine, so I save my configuration. Now I go up to R4. On the R4 device, we do show frame map. We want to make sure there are no mappings here. Good. We go into the appropriate interface. We shut the interface, we set the encapsulation to frame, we turn off the frame relay inverse ARP, we set our IP address. Notice I'm going in the exact same method that I did the other device, the hub device. Then I do my frame maps. We've got 10, 10, 10 10.2 out four zero two, 402, and I'm going to use the broadcast keyword and then the same Delsi will be used to get to the other spoke. And I am not going to be redundant with my broadcast keyword as that could penalize me. We do our no shut, we do our save, and now we're off to router five, our final device to configure. Do show frame map, great. Interface serial zero zero. We set our encap to frame. Uh, let me do a shut, and then we'll no frame inverse ARP. We'll do an IP address, and I did no shut our interface prematurely there, so we'll want to check for any frame mappings when we're done here. And then we'll do our frame map IP 10.10.10.2 is out del C 502, and we're going to send uh, the pseudo broadcast there. And then also to get to the dot four, we're going to use that Delsi, but we won't replicate that broadcast keyword. We're going to now no shut. And I want to do my show frame relay map command and make sure that the only entries we picked up here are static and active. That is great news because again, I did kind of no shut that interface or I failed to shut the interface in the correct order, but fortunately we didn't give inverse ARP time to work before we shut it off. I save my configuration on the spoke R5 and I go up to R4 and I do a ping. Where am I pinging? I ping for efficiency's sake all the way over to the R5 spoke. If we can ping successfully all the way over to the R5 spoke, by definition, Everything between R4 and R5 was built properly. Folks, we are done. This is how you can quickly 
efficiently, accurately build frame relay in a scenario. And I want you, if you have not already, to practice this. Next up in our supplemental videos here, we'll take this topology and we'll put everybody's favorite routing protocol, we'll put RIP over the top of it because I do want to show you a couple of things in RIP that we did not have time to show you in the actual evening class sessions. Thank you so much for joining me, everyone.